Star Wars fans, I'm Nicole Hickey, Senior Travel Planner and Mentor with Middle of the Magic Travel, and I'm here to talk to you today about all things Star Wars. So let's get started. I'll be hitting some of the highlights of Galaxy's Edge, located in Hollywood Studios. If you have questions, please feel free to write them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, let's get started. Galaxy's Edge is located in Hollywood Studios. As you're entering Galaxy's Edge, you'll notice it looks a lot different from the rest of the park. And that's because we have landed on a new planet called Batu. Galaxy's Edge hits the highlights of the largest settlement on Batu called Black Spire Outpost. As you're walking around, you'll see the wonderful shops at the outpost where you can buy fun out of this world gifts for yourself or for your loved ones. You can also purchase some outfits there that you are able to wear while walking around Galaxy's Edge. Speaking of that, let's review some of the policies that Disney has in place for what you can and cannot wear while walking around Galaxy's Edge. Children 13 and younger are able to wear a full costume, and that does include a costume mask, as long as it does not impede their ability to walk and their eyes can still be seen, they are good to go. For those of you that are 14 and older, it's more on the cosplay side. So no full costumes and no costume masks, but fun t-shirts, skirts, tops, dresses, fun Star Wars ears are perfect. As you're walking around, of course, fighting the dark side, you're definitely gonna get hungry. Two of the main restaurants located in Galaxy's Edge are Docking Bay 7 and Ronto Roasters. Docking Bay 7 is located indoors, so it's a great place to take a break and cool off. They have delicious food and beverages as well as adult beverages. I had the pot roast there. If you've eaten there, write in the comments below what some of your favorite items were. Ronto Roasters has delicious wraps, beverages, and adult beverages as well. My favorite is the Coruscant Cooler. What's great about Ronto Roasters is you can sit outside and look over the rest of Batu while enjoying your food. Now, everybody loves Oga's Cantina. It's very similar to Mos Eisley Cantina for those Star Wars fans. You do need reservations, so speak to your travel planner about getting those for you. Now, Oga's Cantina has a couple of small bites, but really, that's not where you're gonna get the majority of your food. So stick with Docking Bay 7 or Ronto Roasters if you're really hungry. Oga's Cantina has fun out of this world drinks. Try the Outer Rim, that's my favorite. And you'll really get into the Star Wars spirit of being in there. All right, moving on. Our next things to talk about are building a lightsaber or a droid. Savi's workshop allows you to build your own lightsaber. The cost for this is $219.99 plus tax. It's a very good idea to go ahead and make reservations for that ahead of time. So ask your travel planner. It's very rare that walk-ins are able to get in. So if this is really important to you, please mention it to your travel planner. So it takes about 20 minutes or so to build the lightsaber and you need to arrive about 15 minutes before your time slot. When you go through, you'll get to pick four different options for your crystal, um, sorry, your, oh my gosh, your Kyber crystal, excuse me. And then there are four different themes for the hilt, which is the bottom portion. But it is very fun to do this experience. If you're a true diehard Star Wars fan, it is a must. All right, for the Droid Depot, this is where you build your own droid. And you get to pick between two series the BB series or the R series. And you get to pick your pieces off of a conveyor belt. It's a very fun thing to do, especially for the younger kids out there. Great experience. So it takes about four different pieces to put your droid together. Once you've done that, you get a remote control and you get to activate your droid, which is so awesome. There is a shop located right next to there that you can add more accessories to your droid if you'd like to do that. They also have some pre-made droids for sale if you'd rather just buy one that's been already made for you. As you're walking around Galaxy's Edge, you'll notice some interesting characters from the First Order. They're gonna try to get out of you where the secret resistance base is hidden. Please don't tell them. <laughs> All right, moving on to the two highlight attractions located in Galaxy's Edge, and those are Millennium Falcon and Rise of the Resistance. 
The Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run is an inter interactive flight simulator. This is a great ride. If you were prone to motion sickness, I would recommend maybe not riding this ride, or if you're fine with closing your eyes for part of the time, if that helps you feel better, go ahead and do that. That is what I have to do. I am very prone to motion sickness, but I still wrote it because I love the Millennium Falcon, and getting to ride on that is like a dream come true. There are three different positions that you get to ride that can be either the pilot, the gunner, or the engineer. All positions are great and super fun. Of course, you can try to request one of those if you want to be the pilot and sit right in the front. And it is a super fun ride. So if you're a old school Star Wars fan watching some of those first movies that came out, this is definitely a must for you. Next, of course, the biggest ride is Ride of the Resistance. This is a highly sought after attraction. And in order to get into the queue, it is a virtual queue you will need to do this on your smartphone. I'm going to give you all of the details in the comments below because they're kind of long and I, I don't want to keep rambling on about how to do that when you can just read it below. But if you have questions, please let us know. And if you've ridden this ride, please put your comments below on how much you loved it. So Rise of the Resistance, you are joining the Resistance and you're brought into a fight between the Resistance and the First Order. And of course, you're going to come up against Kylo Ren. Oh, it's so exciting. It is a trackless ride, so you are moving around a good bit with some of that interactive um, simulation. So again, if you have motion sickness, this ride is not too bad at all. Um, there might be a couple of moments that you feel it, but you're still good to go. And I still highly recommend, it, recommend going on this attraction, even if you do have motion sickness because you can just close your eyes for a couple of moments and you'll be good to go. Now, another great thing to experience while you're in Galaxy's Edge is the milk stand. Are you a blue fan or a green fan? Write in the comments below. These are the delicious milk drinks that you can get. And they do have adult versions as well where you can add some rum or tequila. Please let us know which one you prefer in the comments below if you've gotten to experience it already. Now, last but not least is the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. What this is, is the new resort that Disney is building right next to Hollywood Studios near Galaxy's Edge. It's going to be a two night, all immersive adventure. Now they're still under construction and we are told that it is gonna be ready at least by the end of 2021. There aren't too many details out on the exact date that it will be available for booking, but like I said, they are still working on it and building it, so it's getting closer and closer, and it really does look amazing. For those true diehard Star Wars fans, I think this is a must. I am keeping a very close eye on it, as well as the rest of our travel planners, so keep an eye out here on the Information Backyard page or middleofthemagic.com, or like I said, any travel planner will be able to let you know if there have been any updates on when that will be available. I believe I've covered all of the major details of Galaxy's Edge, but like I said, please feel free to leave comments below. Again, this is a great experience, whether you are a Star Wars fan or have never really gotten into the movies, it's still a fun experience. And there will be fun characters walking around that will interact with you and they might try to turn you to the dark side or find out where that secret rebel base is on Batu. Do not tell them. <laughs> there are some magic moment photo opportunities as well. So be sure to ask the photographers as you're walking around to get that sought after photo with Grogu. For those of you that don't know Grogu, he looks like the little Yoda that has been on the Mandalorian series on Disney+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for listening and have a great day.